Five from Italia. I'm in Greece. Finally made it to you. Five from Spain. I'm, I'm in Bali. Five in Santorini, Greece. From a beautiful, amazing Tulum. say something about guidance and how we know what to do in our lives. This is fully important. Okay. So the thing is, like, I remember there definitely being a point in my life where I thought like that trumpets were supposed to sound or something or God was supposed to like get out a mic and like audibly speak to me for me to know what to do. And that made making decisions really hard and really complicated, right? Making decisions felt like a big massive thing that I could fuck up. I remember my friend in college to me saying, and he went on to be a very famous minister who some of you might know, but my friend in college said to me, Amanda, God's will is not so fragile that you can drop it and break it. Like you can figure things out. You can be confused. You can try things out. You can live. It's not so fragile that you can drop it and break it. And that has become very true in my life if I, as I embody and live this message of, like, you can't fuck it up. You can't fuck it up. I believe fully that we can't fuck it up. Like, it is safe for me to try things in business. It is safe for me to try things in life. It is safe for me to live my life. There's not all the pressure that we think there is. It's self-imposed. It's more than anything, it's restricting. It's our ego and our doubt and our fear holding us back and keeping us stuck and and contributing to us playing small when we believe that one little move, one wrong decision could cause some sort of massive chaos upon us, right? It is restricting and it makes it nearly impossible to live. It makes it fully impossible to follow our hearts and to do the damn thing, right? So that being said, my guidance system, the way I make decisions um, confidently is truly tuning into my desire. And this gets easier as you practice it. Like most of the time now, I within a few minutes can go, do I desire to meet that friend, launch that thing, go on that date, whatever. And I know what a yes sounds like and feels like. A yes sounds like ease and grace and flow and of course and excitement and wouldn't that be fun. Before all the negative ideas, but like you shouldn't go on the date because the guy is blah, blah, blah. Or like right now I can be like, I shouldn't hang out with people tonight because I'm in the middle of the launch. Like before the, before the negative ideas come in, before you hear all the crazy things, just initially, is that something you want to do? Does it feel good? Does it feel fun, expansive, divine, flowy, inspiring, like a good old time? <laughs> you know what I mean? We get to trust our desire our, our rooted, deep felt core desire of our, of our hearts, of our souls, of our longing. So I remember, I don't even know where this came from. I remember as a teenager telling someone I knew, I know what to do, but I know it in my knower. <laughs> so there's, there, there's your heart, there's your gut. And somewhere in here is like my knower where I'm just like, oh, I know a thing. Does that make sense? And so whatever is that like, oh, that's what I want, that's what feels good, deep in here, you know, that's what I trust and that's what I follow. Does that make sense? Was that crazy as hell for anyone or does everyone get me? So often I see people fully analyzing, fully analyzing every single decision and it's kind of like, you know, it's not that deep, <laughs> like take a step back and live life and what do you, and ask yourself, what do you want to do? What do you actually want to do because there's a lot there I was on the phone with a client yesterday who was going on about how she really wanted to offer this kind of coaching package and she really wanted to record this kind of video trainings but she can't possibly do that like those trainings would be too fun and too easy and too like things that she didn't consider to be a part of her brand and she can't just sell a coaching package. Everyone sells digital courses and masterminds. And I was like, actually, no. You get to do what you want to do because that's where the excitement is. That's where the passion is. That's where the joy is. That's where the fun is. That's where the creativity is. You like fully actually get to do what you want to do. 
So then the belief gets to become that what I want to do is the most profitable thing, that what I long to do, I am fully able to monetize. Following my heart is always the thing that makes me the most money. These are like my core beliefs. Does that make sense? So any idea contrary to money gets to feel good and be easy and fun and flowy, I identify as a lie and I shift it. I change my mind, which is what money mentality makeover is all about. You know, money mentality makeover. You know, that's what we do. But because of the way I live and because of how my positive beliefs feel all the time and because that's what I'm guided by the majority of the time, any belief that doesn't feel good, I'm able to catch quickly and know it gets to shift. But, so typically I can shift by like looking at, looking at the idea, is that ultimately true? No. What would be a higher way of saying things? What would be a higher vibe thought? What would be a thought, an idea that would feel better? God, I'm willing to see this differently. Help me to feel better. You know what I mean? Help me. I'm willing to see this differently. I'm willing to feel better. Help me to see this differently. Those kind of ideas are what kind of like allows the more positive thought to come often, right? Now I have a million core beliefs that I live by, but I used to like have to seek and ask for that more positive idea. Does that make sense? Okay. So anything that doesn't feel in line with my positive beliefs, I get to identify it as a lie and shift. But like we're human. So in some areas, like if some idea around this launch or that launch couldn't make money or this thing or that thing couldn't make money or everyone's going to hate you and drop out of your programs. Like ideas like that couldn't stay in my mind very long. I would shift those little really quickly. But there's other things I'm more working on. Like when I find myself doing something in my business I don't actually like to do, I don't actually want to do any longer, I'm aware this gets to be delegated. This gets to go differently. The way I've been doing this gets to fully shift. And I'm actually very aware of that. But I don't fully have all the guidance yet. But there's not any pressure around it. It's the exact same thing. Okay, Amanda, God, Angels, Universe, like who do I hand this off to? How do I delegate this? How do I shift this? Because the core belief is that I get to only do things I love to do and long to do inside my business. So since I believe that and expect that, when I find myself doing something else, um, I believe that that has to change in my life and I'm willing to receive the guidance for it to come. Does that make sense?